Hi there. Welcome to my third edition of Friday Sews, where I tell you what I've been sewing about last week, and I'm going to tell you a bit about what I'm going to try to do this week. Last week, I finally finished my pink trench coat. I am very excited about that. It took me forever to finish. I don't know why, but I absolutely love it. And I'm, I'll put some uh, shots at the end of it outside, but it's uh, seriously pink. I took, uh, put on the black buttons last week and I called it a day. I didn't add any extra lapels or anything because I think it looks good uh, the way it is. So this project is done and I'm very excited about wearing it. Another project that is done is my So Purple for Alzheimer's. As most of you probably know, uh, Michelle sews a lot. I hope I get that name right. Um, Michelle is doing a Alzheimer's awareness uh, sew along this month and she had requested the sewing, sewing community to sew anything purple and um, I um, have always, of course, known about Alzheimer's. It does affect uh, several members of my family, my grandfather, who uh, passed away a long time ago. But uh, it is something that as we age, we are all very aware of. And even in the news, I wouldn't have paid attention to this, but Biogen, uh, the pharmaceutical company, has a trial on and they have a late stage development on an Alzheimer's drug. So let's all hope that this Alzheimer's drug is gonna be successful and it helps keep Alzheimer's at bay. I don't think there's um, this is a cure because I've, I've researched it before and there's no, re no real cure for Alzheimer's, but this at least would slow the progression, which if Biogen can pull it off, that, that would be fabulous news for everybody, right? So that is awesome news. My contribution to uh, So Purple is um, this over here. This fabric uh, took me a while to decide what to make with it. If you recall, I don't know if I said, but I was actually going to make a trench coat out of this purple, um, this purple lace, eyelet lace fabric. And then I decided along the way that I, I wanted to make a skirt instead. So. I pulled out this pattern and I, I sewed it all together and I, I made this before and I forgot how, I just don't like the way it sits on my waist. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't flatter me much. So instead, I decided to turn it into a dress. I'll again show pictures of what this lo looks like on, but um, basically what I did is, uh, gosh, can she stand up a bit? I don't know. You can still see that. Maybe she can sit on my lap, right? Okay, come here, dear. Oh, touch her. She's getting undressed. Hang on a sec. So what I did is, um, <laughs> so this isn't working. I used uh, the same pattern, and uh, this is elastic. Uh, so this part of the dress actually sits up here. So this is my neckline. This model is uh, much, much, much smaller than I am, but I, I haven't invested yet in a, a full figure dress model because they're really expensive. So this is just one of those, uh, you know, hollow ones. Um, but uh, these straps are the uh, shoulder straps and then the white in the middle is uh, just a scarf I have there right now. So it's basically a dress with the uh, same, um, Godet's right here, and uh, little tugs here. So I think uh, it looks really cute on, but it's uh, it's my addition to Friday, not Friday Sews. It's my addition to Alzheimer's awareness. So I, I hope that uh, gets some awareness out of a crazy purple dress I made. I actually, uh, I'm gonna post a video on it later. So, so there she is. Yay. Uh, next up is, uh, if you recall, or maybe you don't recall. Uh, so next up, I am uh, I had mentioned that I wanted to make a Halloween costume. I had uh, never made one before, and I decided to uh, take this pattern 
and order some fabric. And what I'm gonna do is, uh, it, it'll be more like a harvest fest. I said this last week, but I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself because I'm hoping to work on it this week because the fabric just came in. And I thought I've been saving the fabric. So uh, I thought I could do a little uh, unboxing as well. Actually un unwrapping, unpulling apart. So this is from uh, Fabric Wholesale Direct. I, uh, I order my mystery boxes from the, them as well. I really like them. Sometimes they can be slow in shipping, but this time, uh, this time they weren't. So I ordered, uh, oh my goodness. Let me start, wait a sec, let me start. So this is cool. I have to start from the bottom, so close your eyes. <laughs> All right, so for the base of the dress, this whole dress, I'm gonna make this in this fabulous, well, this is more yellow. It's so cool though. It's, um, it was listed as tan. Yeah, I guess it is tan. So I have five yards of this um, satiny tan material. This time I know what it is. It's um, uh, matte, no, what is it? Matte back, matte back satin. So I'm gonna take this five yards. And then on top of that, I had, I bought some fall colors. And it looks like I, I didn't get my green. Oh, unless this is green. Yeah. So some fall red. No, that's orange. Some fall red. Uh, some fall yellow. And some neon green. So here's a yellow. I like the yellow. I like the red. I like the orange. But this green, it doesn't look very natural, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it. Maybe I can hide it, but I, I thought it was more like a, a light green. Um, maybe I can get some more. Uh, you know, this is just plain organza. So it's all see-through. So I think that'll be a lot of fun, right? Wouldn't it? So I'm gonna turn myself into a um, harvest queen, right? That's, uh, that's my... Um, project for next week. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, because as far as personal life goes, well, you know that hurricane? I I am hurting for the people in Florida. They really got it bad. But we live in the Carolinas and it is supposed to hit us tomorrow. Um, we're not on the coast, so I'm, I'm not uh, worried about flooding. But uh, We've got some high winds and some rain expected for tomorrow. So that should be fun. Today's Thursday. So Friday. When, when you guys are watching this, it's going to be raining at my house, right? Uh, so that's going to be fun to prepare. And then um, also, I'm, uh, I've got a big work event. So I am actually uh, hosting a uh, virtual planning session. I'm a, uh, gosh, it's hard to explain because my title is uh, release train engineer, which if you really didn't know what uh, that very specific title means, it does. It, it basically means I'm a party host, right? So I've got to host uh, virtual, uh, eight teams are getting together, like 125 people or something like that. Yikes. And uh, we're going to get together to plan the next three months of our work. So that means I'm going to be really busy for the next two weeks, planning and also executing the event. So hopefully I can post next Friday, but I might not. And I think I will probably get halfway through with this. It'll probably take me two weeks to make. So maybe not a lot of sewing, but definitely a lot going on in my life. So thanks again for watching. And I can't wait to see what everyone else is up to this week. Talk to you later. Bye.